she lured her peers into prostitution for her own financial gain. Now, Miss Diggs has noted that Miss LeBlanc is a neglected youth, and I have no reason to doubt this. But the damage Miss LeBlanc has caused and the sheer lack of remorse that she has displayed in this courtroom convinces me that the suggested course of action is correct. The Crown's request that Miss LeBlanc be sentenced as an adult is hereby granted. When I met your father, I was tending bar down at the waterfront, and your father stumbles in and orders a bourbon. And I go, fuck off, buddy. You're too drunk. Well, your father, he, he puts on his hat and he goes, and he goes, you must be right. Because they said the same thing at the last two places. <laughs> uh, and that's when I knew we were going to be friends. That is such an old joke. And that isn't even Henry's son, you jackass. That is a true fucking story. You told the same story at Billy Fitzgerald's funeral. That is a true fucking story, and you don't know. Oh, yeah? Well, I know when it's time to go. Well, I suggest that you just fucking go then. No, I think I'll stay and have a good time. Why don't you go and stop by? You haven't had a good time in your bloody life yeah apart from our wedding night that was the only good time you had yeah because you passed out all right i've heard enough miss diggs your point is taken true miss leblanc is not guilty of a presumptive offense but i cannot agree with you that her crime was in and of itself non-violent your honor it wasn't on the file you imbecile and if it wasn't in there what the hell else isn't in there Relax, boss. You're gonna take it out anyway. Relax. Relax! You are not the one who has to tell the boss when the product expires. Are you? Since your first conviction 40 years ago, Ms. Carvery, some might say you've had plenty of opportunities to reform. On the other hand, that questionable prosecution does seem to have set you on a path that robbed you of the emotional stability necessary to build a decent life. Nonetheless, you have taken a man's life. I'm sentencing you to five years, two years less a day in a provincial prison and three years probation. During that time, you'll receive psychiatric counseling. The system had a hand in creating you, Ms. Carvery. You are a product of our neglect, as is, sadly, the death of Reed Izzard. But that neglect ends here. We won't give up on you. We're adjourned. All rise. Some individuals have their own solutions for overcoming the challenges of living in a food desert, while others take their solutions one step further into the wider community.